Okay, well, welcome back everyone. So um, we have our next uh, speaker, Dylan Sembrano, who is the founder of DBT Virtual, an online dialectical behavioral therapy clinic servicing multiple Canadian provinces, including Ontario, British Columbia, Alberta, and Nova Scotia. He has several years of experience working on a DBT team within an outpatient mental health hospital setting and provides DBT training, consultation, and supervision to other therapists. He is the author of the DBT Skills Daily Journal, a book that combines guided journaling with DBT skills building. Dylan also teaches courses in mindfulness and compassion meditation at the University of Toronto. He will be presenting a workshop today, interactive workshop called Discover Your Self-Compassion, a writing workshop to buffer the stigma. Self-compassion is a way is a way of caring for ourselves and attending to our suffering with kindness. While it can be strengthened with practice, self-compassion can be difficult to cultivate when we're when it's internalized the stigma experienced from others. Join us for this experiential writing workshop to find your inner self-compassion and help heal the wounds caused by stigmatized views of BPD. You'll be guided through writing prompts informed by DBT skills, including mindfulness, validation, and compassion to promote resilience and buffer the impact of stigma. And we will be drawing a one winner uh, for the DBT Skills Daily Journal. So if you stay to the end, we will announce a, a random winner from that. So welcome Dylan and uh, take it away. Thank you and thanks for having me here. I'm, I'm really excited to, to be here with you for this writing workshop. Um, so I will, there we go. Um, so I, I've already had the introduction here. So I'm Dylan Zambrano and I'm here to, to, to provide a workshop on self-compassion for today, as mentioned. Um, before jumping into that, I will just uh, uh, provide a little bit of information about uh, the practice that I run, DBT Virtual. We offer individual psychotherapy, DBT skills groups, family and couples therapy. We offer free DBT skills webinars and for mental health professionals offer training, consultation and supervision. Uh, so we're available uh, across Ontario, British Columbia, Alberta and Nova Scotia. And you can find more information about us at our website or on our social media pages. And as mentioned, I uh, am the author of the DBT skills daily journal. And this is a journal that, a, a guided journal that is really intended to, to inspire DBT skills practice uh, with prompts, daily prompts that, um, that uh, really are intended to create awareness of one's emotions, uh, set intentions for how we integrate skills and, and, and hold us accountable to practicing DBT skills every day. So the this uh, the the DBT journal sort of inspired this idea to to offer a writing workshop today to help um, elicit our inner self compassion, which we all have the ability to to cultivate. So we'll engage in a in a in a writing a series of uh, writing practices here, as well as both mindfulness and compassion meditation practices. Uh, to really help to um, uh, integrate this work uh, and, and this writing that we'll do and elicit the self-compassion from within. So I'll just invite you to take a moment there, if you can, to grab a writing utensil and a piece of paper that you can write on. So let me just give you about 30 seconds to do that. And so we'll be doing both meditation here as well as um, sort of intentional reflection and writing. So we'll kind of be going in and out of uh, these meditations, reflection and, and writing prompts. 
And so there will be some writing prompts that come up on some of the next slides. And the invitation here is to, to really just write whatever comes to mind. So there isn't any need to, to really sort of like censor or, you know, alter what's, what, what, uh, what's being written down on paper, but to ju just really allow anything that unfolds, any insights that arise um, to, to unfold on the, the, the paper in front of you. And wherever you're situated there, I'll just invite you to get into a comfortable position. Adopting a posture that's both alert and relaxed, closing the eyes if that feels comfortable for you. And resting the attention on the breath. and breathing as though it's the only thing that you need to be doing in this moment. Nowhere else to go. Nothing else to do. Nowhere else to be, but to be here in this body, breathing. Allow the breath to fall into a natural rhythm. Notice the pauses between each breath. And just notice the quality of the breath. And what this has to say about the quality of your presence in this moment. If we notice during this activity, we notice the mind starting to wander, we can come back to this breath. To ground us into this moment, to regain our attention. And to bring us back to our self-compassion writing today. You might choose to open the eyes now. And for the first reflection here, I'll invite you to bring to mind somebody who you turn to for compassion. Somebody who embodies these qualities of kindness support, nurturance. And so this could be a family member, a friend, a colleague, 
a therapist. Notice who arises in the mind. And what features or characteristics do you notice about their compassionate presence with you? Maybe it's a sense of openness, acceptance, warmth. And if you were to turn to this person for support, maybe after making a mistake or failing at something, what words would they tell you? What would be the support that they would provide. Taking a moment to write these words down or these statements, the compassionate words that this person would tell you. And just jotting your final notes down there. And shifting into the next reflection. So this time bringing to mind someone who generally turns to you for this kind, nurturing support. So whether that's a colleague, a friend, family member, choosing one and imagining that person. And if this person were suffering with something, envision how they might be experiencing that pain in their posture, in their facial expression, in their presence with you. And so this time, let's say that they're the ones who have made the mistake or experienced some sort of failure. Imagine how that might trouble them. What words might you choose to support this person with warmth and care? What would be the words that you would choose to help this person? And let's take a moment to write those words down. 
or those phrases. Just wrapping up with your final notes there. As we move on to the next reflection. And so this time, bring to mind someone whose validation or maybe even approval you've always sought and either didn't receive or rarely received. And think about what it was that you had wanted to be acknowledged for. Why and how did you want to experience their compassion? especially in moments of difficulty. What did you want them to say so that you would feel soothed and validated? What were those words that you were longing to hear? And so if we can take a moment to write down those validating words or statements that we wish to receive from that person. And wrapping up with your final notes there. And take a moment now to glance at all of your responses here, everything that you've written down. And, re and, and, and underline the statements that maybe feel the most authentic or maybe resonate the most for you. The words you could see yourself telling yourself. And with these statements that you just underlined, rewrite them in a way that is written from yourself and directed toward yourself. So we might phrase it as something like, 
I know I'm doing the best that I can. May I love myself just as I am. Or I can find the strength to get through this difficult moment. When you're ready, you can place your pens down. And I'll invite you to close the eyes if that feels comfortable for you. If not, you can just keep your gaze, perhaps at a non-distracting spot in front of you. And if you feel able and willing, I'll invite you to recall a time when you would experience some form of invalidation or stigmatizing message. Maybe sticking to those that are a bit mild to moderate in range, not bringing up anything that would seem overly painful or hard to tolerate right now. Maybe these are the same messages that you've internalized and you find yourself telling yourself these messages at times. As you reflect on these moments and these statements, try to get in touch with the emotional pain that these messages cause. You might acknowledge the impact that these messages have on your current emotional state or the impact that they had on your emotional state at the time that you heard these messages. And let's allow these messages to fade into the background as you make room for your inner compassionate narrative, the kind, nurturing support within you. If it feels right, you might also experiment with a self-compassion gesture, maybe by placing one hand or both hands over the heart. Think to yourself, what are the most supportive, compassionate, validating and healing statements that you can tell yourself right now? Trying on some of the statements from your writing a few moments ago.
If there's difficulty allowing your self-compassion to emerge, you might try responding to yourself in the same way that you might respond to a close friend or a loved one who's been heard or invalidated. We can sometimes forget how capable we are of offering ourselves this compassion, this validation. And you may wish to try some of these following compassion phrases, repeating them silently in the mind. May I feel my support and acceptance. May I accept myself just as I am. May I have love, warmth, and affection. May I be free from suffering and unhappiness. May I feel alive, engaged, and joyful. Notice how it feels in the mind and body to speak to yourself from a place of compassion and understanding. Maybe savoring any pleasant feelings that might be here as you extend this unconditional kindness towards yourself. And if you don't notice anything, just know that you're planting seeds of compassion in the heart and the mind that can eventually grow with repeated practice. As we come to a close with this self-compassion practice here, You might allow yourself to stay as long as you need to with this practice. And most importantly, ensuring that you take these self-compassion phrases with you and use them towards yourself when they're most needed. And closing the practice with one collective deep breath. And opening the eyes. Returning to our room here. as we wind down, we'll announce a lucky winner here of the DBT Skills Daily Journal, which we'll um, have you connect with, with, with Bailey in order to arrange to get your copy. But Bailey, who's going to be our winner of for today? Oh, I don't know. If our lucky winner is Kristen. Well, congratulations, Kristen. We'll connect with you. To ensure you get the the book delivered to you so Hi, i'll just guys. dylan um i'm actually i'm Kristen from emotions matter so you were kind enough to send us some copies <sighs> of the book um i would love to offer up my copy to someone who uh is not as fortunate as me to have one yet 
Can you do another spin on the wheel there, Bailey? Thank you, Bailey. Our second lucky winner is Derek. Well, uh, congratulations then. Um, and thank you for, for having me here to, and, and sharing this space with me today for some self-compassion. Feel free to get in touch afterwards if you'd like to connect with me after today's session. Um, and I suppose, Bailey, I will hand things back over to you. Thank you so much, Dylan. That was wonderful. Appreciate your time. Thank you.